May 4th through 8th is Small Business Week, a time that honors entrepreneurs and small businesses across the country. Here with us this morning is Matthew Pollard, a serial entrepreneur, author, speaker, coach, and consultant with some advice for the business owners. Matthew, good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, you too. You too. So, okay. Tell me first, I want these folks to get an idea. You just moved here from Australia. Yeah. What's February. going on here with you? Yeah, it's Yeah, not it's been, been pretty flat time. out. It's been very flat out. Uh, well, Austin's a great town and mm -hmm. for businesses it's phenomenal. So many startups, so many different events going on. So I just I fell in love with Austin when I got here. So I moved here in February last year and it's just been hectic. We've had Google startup weekends. I'm about to do uh, Angel Hack coming up just next, just later on this month actually. So it's yeah. been very busy. A busy guy. So we're going to talk a little bit about, this is going to be very helpful for business owners, small business owners. This is a big week coming up for you guys. So let's first start off with something, differentiation, and why it's an important um, you know, concept for competition. Yeah, definitely. So a lot of small businesses really struggle separating themselves from anyone else. And unfortunately, that means they just have to continually compete on price. And it, 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 it's understandable why that is. I mean, a lot of small businesses, they learn from their boss. And then when they go out and do business for themselves, that's all they know. So they start to build out their products and services exactly the same as their boss does. And then unfortunately, there's nothing different about them. So you can only compete on price. So you're competing against the people that taught you plus the people that taught other people. And the only thing you can differentiate yourself is with price. And it's a long way to the bottom. But unfortunately, it just means no one earns any money. So differentiation is the only important thing or the most important thing to separate yourself from everyone else. And yet it's the thing that most people don't think about. They just want to get in and start doing the job. Right. Well, we hear a lot of things about, you know, differentiation, but also niche marketing. So can you tell me a little bit about um, how folks can find those people for their business, find the right target audience, I guess? Yeah, sure. So what it's really about is looking for what is the unmet need in a market. So what markets are missing out on something? And if you could provide that, you'd get exponential growth. See, for instance, in my last businesses, all it was about, for instance, my, my very last business, we created a education specifically for the trade demographic because they hated school and they wanted business coaching. So we provided business coaches to the trade demographic in an educational format where they could afford it. And all of a sudden you get exponential growth. Now, for a lot of small businesses, they're competing in the markets again like they learned from their boss. And what it's about is stepping out of that and taking a, a, a bit of a wider view and saying, what markets are missing out on something? If I was to deliver that, can I have no competition? And that's what the answer is really to growth, no competition. Right. Well, I, I mean, I am, the business is so difficult to comprehend for me. But, you know, <laughs> for some people, you know, these are important things that they need to learn Definitely. in order to grow their business. And we want to help you guys here because we're in Texas. We love small businesses. Um, and the last point that I wanted to touch on was sales and systemization. So yeah. can you talk about that a little bit and yeah, um, sure. how, the, how they can better uh, that in their area of work? Yeah, definitely. So I think that there's a common misconception, which is that you have to have the gift of the gab to be able to sell. And it's, it's just not the case. Obviously, people that are natural extroverts are going to be better salespeople at the start. Just like in university, there are some people that are better naturally in year one, but it's the people that put the work in that do better over time. And unfortunately, with sales, because it's not taught in school, most people don't realize that. So sales is just like a, a system, just like anything else. So if you spend some time understanding that there are milestones and steps in the process, and you can learn it almost like a script, then you can go out and speak to people and feel much more comfortable doing so. And for the introverts out there, which, which I was, I had a reading speed of a sixth grader when I was in late high school. I was a very introverted kid, and I had to learn those systems and that pro those processes just to be able to communicate with people. And I found that I went from you know, 93 doors before my first sale, I was a door-to-door -door salesperson, to all of a sudden I was the best in the nation within a series of weeks because I actually researched it and did the work where most people used an excuse, I don't have the gift of the gab, therefore I can't do it right. and now I spend my life teaching other introverted people how they can actually be better than most people with the gift of, gift of the gab just because they know all the systems they know the processes they're gonna be better on every single day as opposed to the gift of the gab who you know that when they have a good day they're really happy but if they have a fight with a family member then all of a sudden they're not on and their sales slump so it's about creating that consistency 
Well, you obviously have so much, you know, advice to offer these small businesses, uh, these entrepreneurs. How can they find out more? How can they get help from you? Because uh, I'm sure that after listening to this, some of them are want to go into more depth <laughs> with you. So yeah, definitely. So you can find me on my website, which is matthewpollard.guru. You can also listen to my podcast, which is Better Business Coach Podcast. Uh, you can find that on iTunes. But also, I've got some events coming up in town. So I've got Angel Hack that's coming on later on this month, and also there's a Google Startup Weekend for education coming up in early June and I'm a judge for both of those so if you're a new starter and you obviously want to be able to get some advice and want to be around a community of entrepreneurs like yourself you can come along to those events and get some really good support pitch coaching and some critique critique from people that are skilled are just as skilled as myself well thank you so much Matthew for coming in talking about small US small business week that's happening this coming up week um, and welcome to Austin thank I know you. that uh, it's pretty new to you so Welcome, Matthew, but we expect to see you back on the show. Um, but thanks so much again. You're more than welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah.